Hi guys, welcome to Creatively Homemade. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jennifer and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I really enjoy sharing paper crafting projects with you from memory keeping to cards to 3D items. So today is Memory Keeping Monday and so I have a fun project for you. Um, if I did want to share some news with you first. Today is free shipping day from Stampin' Up! I was so excited to get an email yesterday. All day long today, December 11th, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping on any order, no matter how small. So it's a great time to either get holiday gifts and finish up your shopping, or um, stock up on cardstock and adhesive and staples that you use all year long. It's a great way to save a little bit of money. But anyway, let's get back to Memory Keeping Monday and I'll show you what I'm working on today. I have pulled out an old photo from the early 90s when my husband and I had just started dating. Uh, our very first date was at our high school Christmas dance, so I have the photo from that and I'm scrapbooking it today. And I am using the Tags and Trimming stamp set and the Coordinating Trim Your Stocking die set. And this is going to be the set that I'm featuring all week long in all my projects, so you'll want to make sure to come back on Wednesday and Friday and check those tutorials out as well. So let's get started, and I will show you how easy it is to make this cute color block layout. So let's get started and let's do the base of our page. I just have a 12 by 12 sheet of Whisper White cardstock. I have my photo, which is a 5 by 7 oh my goodness, I look so young. Um, this photo was taken 25 years ago, I think. Actually, 27. Yeah, 1990, so it's 27 years ago. Oh, anyway, um, and then this is a piece of 5 and a half by 7 and a half um, gold foil paper that I'm going to use to mount the photo on to make it pop out a little bit. And then I've grabbed four different squares of quilted Christmas designer series paper. This paper pack is all 6x6 six six paper. It has a lot of cute different designs in it. It's quilting and um, quilted stars and things like that. It's a fun pack. I've used so much of it already. I believe there are 12 different designs in this pack and you get four pieces of each. So I've just kind of pulled out four that I like that I think that work well together. So what I'm going to do is just add glue to the back of each of these 6x6 six six sheets and then lay them out like so. Now I recommend using a liquid adhesive on the back of this. That way if you don't get it placed perfectly you can have a little bit of time to slide it around and get it like you want it. Just like so. Whoops, got a big old glob there. So I'm going to turn that over and slide that right up in the corner. Okay. So my pattern that I've chosen is I'm going to use a star pattern, then a quilted pattern. So I'm doing green on the left side, and then I'm going to put the quilted patterns opposite each other and the stars opposite each other, and I'm using red on the right side. So I'm going to finish gluing those down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my designer series paper squares all glued down to my cardstock base to make a sturdy page and now I'm ready to add my photo. Now of course you could add whatever photos you like, you know, do a couple of um, smaller photos, but I'm wanting this 5x7 photo to be the showcase of the page. Um, I'm going back and scrapbooking some of my older photos and this was taken in 1990 on my husband's and my first date. We went to the high school Christmas dance together. So I want this picture to be the focus of the page and that's the only photo I'm going to include. So this is a 5x7 picture. So I cut a piece of gold foil paper that is five and a half inches by seven and a half inches, and I'm just going to stick that photo down to so the foil. I'm just foil. adding snail adhesive to the back of that photo, and I'm going to stick that down to the gold foil right in the center so there's an even border all the way around the photo. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and stick the photo down 
to my color blocked piece. So I'm just adding snail adhesive to the back here, all the way across, and sticking it down to the center. Now we're ready to do some embellishing. I'm going to use that stocking die to make a cute little stocking for the corner, and we're going to do a little sentiment for the top. So let me get my die cut machine out, and I will show you the pieces you need to cut. Okay, so I pulled out my die cut machine, and I pulled out my trim your stocking die set. This is such a fun set. It actually can make these cute little stocking pillow boxes and I'm going to show you how to do that later in the week. But for today I'm just making a flat stocking. So it has your stocking shape, it has the toe and heel, it has the little cuff, and then it has all these little embellishments that you can use. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a little stocking to decorate my scrapbook page. So I've pulled out the stocking die first and a scrap of real red cardstock. So I'm going to put that on there. And I'm also going to use a little heart embellishment up on the cuff. So while I'm cutting that stocking, I am going to go ahead and cut the little heart. Okay. So you can set those pieces aside. And then grab some scraps of white cardstock, and we're going to use white for the cuff and heels, or heel and toe. So let me see here. The cuff will probably fit on that one, along with the little heel. And then let's just put the toe right there. Put the plate on and run that through. Okay. We also need some little green holly leaf embellishments. So I've got a scrap of green paper to do that. And this die set has two little, little holly leaves. The one's a little bit bigger than the other. But I'm going to use both sizes, so I'm cutting both. Okay. We also need a little gold heart embellishment for our sentiment, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that now as well. Okay, for the sentiment, I have pulled out a couple of my other die sets. I've pulled out my stitch shapes dies, and I'm going to be using one of the ovals. And then I've pulled out my layering ovals die set, which has regular ovals and um, scalloped ovals. And I'm going to use a scalloped oval to mount the sentiments. So I am using the three and a quarter inch scalloped oval, and I'm cutting that in garden green. And then for the sentiment itself, I'm just using a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm using one of the stitched ovals. And that one is two and three quarter inches. So then those are going to layer together like that, and they're going to have the sentiment stamped in the middle. So that's it for our die cutting, so I'm going to put my die cut machine away and I will be right back. Next thing we want to do is a little bit of stamping. So I've grabbed my tags and trimming stamp set that coordinates with the trim your stocking die set. And I'm going to be using two different stamps from that. I'm using this little snowflake set and I'm also going to be using the celebrate the season stamp. And I've already grabbed or put those on mounting blocks and I'm using real red ink for both. So I'm going to be stamping the Celebrate the Season stamp on this stitched oval shape and just stamp that right in the center, just like so, and set that aside. And then we're going to be using this snowflake stamp as the background for our stocking. 
So you just want to stamp that randomly all over. You can skip the top area because that's where our uh, cuff is going to go. So just stamp it random all over and you can run off the edge a little bit if you want. Just like that, gives it a nice little tone on tone look. And that's it for the stamping. Now we're ready to assemble our scrapbook page. Okay, so now pull all your die cut pieces back out and we are ready to put everything together. You want to start by doing a little bit of surgery here on this stocking piece. Um, this stocking die will actually make the pillow box stocking, as I mentioned before. So you're going to have an extra piece here that will fold down and uh, be the top flap for your pillow box if you decide to make that. However, for using a flat scrapbooking embellishment, you want to cut that flap away. So it's just this little area right here. So just take some scissors and cut that away. You can cut right on that score line. And that's the only thing you need your scissors for. So we're going to start by putting our cuff down. So just add some glue to the back of that or you can use snail adhesive if you like. And just put that right up at the top of your stocking. Press it a little bit to stick it. Okay. Then we're going to add two little holly leaves and a heart right there. The heart is acting as the berry. I thought that was cute since it was the scrapbook layout is of my husband's and mine first date. So I thought that would be a cute little embellishment. So just add glue to the back of the holly leaves and stick those down. The bigger one on the bottom like that. I think my Tombow is about out. And then just put the smaller one up at the top, overlapping it a little bit, like that. And then add glue to your heart. Now, of course, if you're not doing a scrapbook page like this, if it's a more general page or you're using it for like your Christmas pictures this year, you could use um, a berry. There's actually a berry die in that die set so you could use that instead of the heart. I just think the heart is really cute. So now you want to go ahead and stick the um, heel and the toe down. The bigger one is the the toe. So add glue to the back of that. And put it right down at the bottom there. I like using liquid adhesive for things like this where I may not get them placed right at first so then I can slide them. I have a, a minute or so to slide it around and get it in position. And then put your little heel piece down. Whoops. See like there is a perfect example. I completely dropped it. There we go. So our little stocking embellishment is done and now we just need to put together our sentiment. So you want to stick this light celebrate the season um, stitched oval onto your uh, scalloped oval background and I'm just going to use snail for that. So center that with an even border all the way around. And then I'm just going to take this little gold heart and put it over here at the corner. So just kind of estimate how much adhesive you're going to need on the back of that because you aren't going to need adhesive on the whole thing. Okay, so now we've got our embellishments done and we are ready to put the page together. Okay, to finish this up, I just need to stick the um, embellishments that we made down and I'm going to put those in the corners like this and overlap the photo a little bit. 
So I'm going to add some snail adhesive to the back of each of them. And I'm putting the stocking down here in the lower left corner. And I want to overlap the corner of the photo there. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of the sentiment and overlap that here in the upper right corner of the photo just like that. So here is the finished scrapbooking layout. I really like how it turned out and I think that quilted Christmas designer series paper just is so cute with that stocking embellishment. Now before I go, I also wanted to show you that this uh, die set also works for pocket scrapbooking or project lifestyle scrapbooking. That is the method of scrapbooking that I do the majority of the time. And so I just made up some cards and wanted to show you how cute that turned out. So this is a 4x6 vertical card and the stocking fits perfectly on there. And I just embellished it with a little jingle bell. Then I made some filler cards. This one's got the Celebrate the Season stamp again and I embellished it with a little gold heart. This one is a simple card with just two more jingle bells and a scalloped oval in the background. And then this one, I cut one of my photos into an oval and embellished it with, with a greenery die from that same die set. And then this last one I just embellished with a cute little snowflake because this was an Instagram photo. So I put that on a 4x6 card and needed a little bit extra embellishment so I used that snowflake. So I really like how that turned out as well and I hope you can see that this die set works well for both traditional scrapbooking and project lifestyle scrapbooking. So if you would like any of the supplies I used to make this scrapbook page, including the tags and trimming stamp set or the coordinating trim your stocking die set, you can get those from my links down in the description box below. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so any purchase you make through me goes to help support my family, and I thank you. And as a reminder, there are a couple of special offers. If you make a purchase today, December 11th, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping all day long, so it's a great time to stock up and finish up your holiday shopping for those special crafters on your list. And also, as a reminder, for the entire month of December, if you place a $50 or more order using this month's host code, then I will send you a Winter Wonder embossing folder. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting!